Welcome to Koi Koi Wars! <laughs> That's what we're starting with, huh? Yep, we're gonna start with Koi Koi Wars. We got the uh, last opponent left to do, Genon oh, wow. here. But I'm gonna give you a little tip before we start. This is the practice session. You can uh, get the trophy if you do everything on practice, but if you go to Showdown, everything's harder and you get more money. So if you need more money to unlock more more opponents, you can go to Hatsuho, she's a pushover, and you can get like about 50 to 60 coins every time you fight her. Oh wow. But now we're gonna, we're gonna deal with uh, Genon Sotetsu, the final opponent in our Koi Koi Wars. I'm gonna take this time to just show how the ending part went and give you a little more extra tips on Koi Koi so you can go forward in your Koi Koi Wars in the future. So, the idea of the game is to uh, make good hands so that way your opponent doesn't have any more money at the end, obviously. Best thing to do is try and get the cards that your opponent uh, needs. For example, if you see there, I got the butterfly. That's an important one to get. Uh, just kind of Make whatever pairs you can and build up uh, whatever hand you can. And hope that he's gonna get fucking lucky. And if you don't have anything, discard all your useless cards first. So that's so that's why I'm keeping the, the stork there, I'm keeping the, the deer there. That's an important one there, the full moon. You can get some really nasty card uh, hands with that one. There's the boar there, they want to get that though. Uh, there's another good one. Just... Oh! See? He got soccer reviewing, which was three mon, and he stops there. So now he takes the lead. This is, and uh, he got the... This, this he got is the really right up the bat. Flying by. Uh, I think we've already talked about this. This is based on Hanafuda, yeah? Yes. Okay. So sk skipping ahead a little bit, uh... Let's see. I got the stork here, so I'll go ahead and grab that. Thing is, though, when you use one of these big cards, your opponent knows that you have that card, and it'll probably change his strategy accordingly. Uh, ribbons are good ones to get. If you get five ribbons, that's uh, any ribbons, uh, that's a pretty good hand. But the ones with the writing on them, those are poetry ribbons, and those get you lots of points. The blue ribbons are the most points, too. Or blue, purple, however you want to see that. And there's one of them right there. Uh... Matching matching cards, if it, if it isn't obvious, it's basically matching the flower on the cards. For example, you see the butterfly there, I can use this rose to get that. Hmm. Or whatever kind of flower that is. Carnation? I don't know. I got nothing there. But I got that! Oh, damn! Three lights! That's six mon! Excellent! Now, how did you get that, full moon? It was, uh, the, that, uh, you can see right there the, uh, that gray hill there. Yeah. Those match up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I see it now. Now, did that come off the, like, draw pile? Yes. Oh, and I got soccer reviewing again. That's three mon. And I'm just gonna stop, just gonna eat away at his money. If you lose, though, you can pay ten mon for a rematch. And when you rematch, you get all your mon back, they don't. Oh, well, so you can cheese it in practice mode, or is that normal mode as well? I think that's normal mode too, but <laughs> there's like, you know, a lot more money involved. <laughs> but so, if, you're uh, just, if, if you're just in for the trophy like I am, then uh, you just need to worry about practice mode. Gotcha. It just doesn't net as, just, it doesn't net as much money, and you gotta play more in order to unlock more characters, because they can get pretty expensive. The later characters cost like 60, 70, 80 mon to unlock. Jesus. But again, you do my beat Hatsuho and showdown mode trick, and that'll take care of everything, no problem. I'm getting there, I'm, I'm getting the boar bear, although you got the butterfly, I can't do that. Got some poetry ribbons, not bad. So uh, remind yeah. me again, what is, what does the Koi Koi command actually do? Koi Koi means that I can keep it going and uh, get an even higher combo and take more money, but I'm not like that. I'm just going to stop here, and I won. All right. Boy, he's kind of a pushover compared to Itsuki. Well, I mean... Sometimes, the, sometimes I swear the deck is stacked in their favor. But that's again on taking care of, and that's Koi Koi Wars Champion! That silver trophy in the bag.
And I think we're uh, done here. We got uh, 46 coins. That's actually not cool bad, that not bad. in order to get the trophy, you just have to beat them a anywhere. Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, the official ruling. It could just be practice. So I quit. That is it. Give up any hope you had of beating me. I just beat you! I, j I just beat you! Best two out of three. Here? Whatever. Now let's get to the endings that we missed. This is Clarice's ending. Hi, Claris. How's that wind magic Sup, treating Claris. you? Your Libromancy that never gets brought up again. So she'll be the deputy captain. Yeah. Have a supporting high five. Yeah. Go over to Sumire and lock in our ending. Now, when you lock in the ending, that means you have to go and do chapter 7 all over again, and the final chapter all those times. You have replayed this finale six times total? Seven? <gasps> uh, let's see. There's the first playthrough, that's one. There's the let's play, that's two. And then for all these, it's six total times. Ugh. So you must have been, like, listening to hardcore music or something like that just to get you through that, yeah? Mm-hmm. So everyone is, all right, yeah, cool, all right, sweet, yeah. I should also mention, uh, Clarice's team attack. The only way you can get Clarice's team attack to unlock is if... You choose her as your partner in Chapter 3 for the games, in your second slot, or if you choose her as Deputy Captain. It's kind of ridiculous. Really? Yeah, it's 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 kind of silly. Why wouldn't that, like, naturally unlock as you're getting to know her, or something like that? Because they didn't write this game very good. Oh, well, yeah. And so it's been decided. Excellent. Everything progresses normally until then. There's a few differences in the in the final battle, but not so much. And here is the beautiful screen of Claris as my deputy captain. Hooray! Lovely. And then like 45 minutes later, no <laughs> joke, we get to the end. 45 minutes later, each! Each. 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 <laughs> I hope you appreciate the work I put into this. <laughs> I do, I do. I should also mention... Uh... Whenever you get your clear data for the ending... Mm -hmm. You can just save your clear data... Reload this save to get your deputy captain... Get that ending... There and just keep we go. doing the clear, the clear modes... So that way, if you're doing the battle bots, you don't have to do that over and over again. That's how it counts. But, there we go. But make sure that you get all the bromides that are missing here. Everything, you know, every, every, before you, on your uh, last ending, talk to people, get your last bromides and all that before you end it, so you can carry over to New Game to New Game Plus, so you can get everything that you missed. You don't have to talk to everybody, you can just rush right to the stage, which is what I do for most of these. Oh, good. You know, I'm always looking for shortcuts like this, just to, you know, grab a quick trophy or record a quick bonus. Almost all the RPGs I choose never have that quick option. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> so, be, be thankful. <laughs> You didn't have to play through the entire game again. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. Yep, almost time to go. We're leaving the theater forever, Claris. So this scene kind of plays a lot similarly to the endings. Okay, they're ready to go, and then they reminisce, and then he says something to make them tear up a little bit, then everybody shows up and they do one last pose. <laughs> Please tell me there's at least one Kamiyama line where he just says, You're adequate. And then they just start bawling <laughs> over that. 
You used your creativity to protect and inspire the Imperial Condor. <laughs> what about your libromancy? <laughs> you you overcame yeah. your doubts and you became a lot stronger because of it. She accidentally uses wind magic now. <laughs> Kamiyama! <laughs> See, I, I still think this should have been written to where Kamiyama's leaving. Because it sounds like he's he's peacing out after this. Like, five minutes after they have their big, you know, group hug, he's just like, alright, I'm out, bye. Yeah. I have everybody in their uh, lounge wear. But I change everything at, at some point. It's like, I can't have a zombie in this ridiculous looking outfit. I mean, come on. <laughs> you look just stupid. Polka dots. My vote is to keep Anastasia in something, you know, better than her normal outfit. I, I like her loungewear outfit. That's like the most normal thing she has to wear. All right, do the honors. All right, All right. combat review. <laughs> Big old. Here we go. Hoorah! All right, here we go, team. Yeah. Flower division, move out. Hey. Yay. And then Kamiyama was never seen again. Skip all that. Here's the ending. Oh my god, Whoa! the bloom is so ridiculous! I'm moving this over to my other monitor, I can't see it. Oh, there we go. I can't see anything! Well, that's probably for the best. Ah! She's a, ta <laughs> she's a tad underaged. <laughs> I didn't turn anything up, god! I can't even see his face, it's so bright! <laughs> I have a feeling I would lose Kamiyama in a snowstorm. Dead. Wow, the fade out, I could actually tell he had a towel on. That's hilarious. <laughs> so much bloom. Well, this is nice. I, I, I really like this setup. I like this scene, the sunset's great. Sunset, the inn. Man, I need to hit up one of these inns. Hot spring and all. And boom! Hey! Planted one! What? Happily ever after. That is Clarissa's ending. Oh, okay. Next up! We're gonna do Anastasia's ending. Alright, alright. What's up, traitor? Oh, wait. I've forgiven you for that for some reason. <laughs> oh, God. Just rem imagine the infighting if we actually did make Anastasia the canonical <laughs> deputy captain. It's like, what the fuck, Amiyama? She almost she shot me. And oh, how could you? No hard feeling. She wanted to. I don't even remember to like bring back her parents or some bullshit. She had a wish, and the genie was like, nope. See, I don't remember what her motivation was. Uh, it, it, it just shows how little it mattered. I can bring your family back. Th they barely addressed it, and, you know, after the, her betrayal, they just kind of forgot about all that. I, I, I figured there'd be some, like you said, some infighting of some sorts. You know, maybe Sakura would, would yell at her or something like that, and Azami would try and keep the peace, and Clarice just kind of flusters, and Hatsuho's like, hey, knock it all off, you know, have some character moments. But again, we don't have any of that. They just don't have it. I like. I betrayed you all before. Why would you trust me after that? Oh, I don't know. You got big tits. I like it. <laughs> That's a very good question, Anastasia. I'm starting to think your backstory was done via Mad Libs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we... Uh, let's see, she is trying to save her... Mm, okay, uh, family. And it turns out she was the... Oh, God. Uh, traitor. Hey, I think we got some here, boys. Cannot wait to get back to Sakura Wars 5. Well, as of this recording, that might be a reality here soon. Yes, it will. Cannot come soon enough. And we got Anastasia here Yay. at the stage. Hurrah, hurrah, hooray! Ta-da! Ta 
Locked in your ending. You're not getting out of this one. Nope. Ta-da. Ta-da. And then 45 more <laughs> minutes later. <laughs> 45 more. Did you do all of this in a day? Not all of it. Okay. But I did a lot of everything after this in a day. It was not a good day. But it was a good day. The, the catharsis I felt when I deleted this game from my console forever. <laughs> and moved, moved the game from my Let's Plays in Progress to back on the shelf where it'll gather dust forever. Hey, I just realized Soccer Wars, uh, new Soccer Wars, is on sale right now. So if you want a cheap way to play Koi Koi, <laughs> there you go. Get Yakuza. <laughs> yes, go for Yakuza. Is it called Koi Koi in there? Or is it? Yes. Oh, okay. Like... Now, not only do you have Koi Koi, you have Oichikabu and Chohan. Well, shit, go play Yakuza. Yeah. Also done by Sega. What the hell? Oh, the, oh, the miles my eyebrow raised when I saw Koi Koi War. I was like, Koi Koi? It's Yakuza. Why is that here? Like, why do they add Koi Koi? <laughs> Sega's just going to start adding Koi Koi to everything and start... You know, shoehorning it into Puyo Puyo Tetris to shoehorn it into Persona and Shin Megami Tensai somehow. That's what Persona 5 needed. A Koi Koi minigame. <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, the new Sonic game somehow has Koi Koi. Story-related reason, don't ask questions. Sonic Koi Koi! Okay, I'd be down for Sonic Koi Koi. I mean, I know it's literally just changing the cards and how they look, but that would be so cool. Here we are talking about the world games again, as if that's the most important thing compared to our comrades, which I, I remind you, still have not come back. Yeah, I believe the world games were also part of the Mad Lib. Eh, all thanks to her? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, it'd be like if I left you and Violet in Shadow America for 10 years, and I had a chance to bring you back, but I'm like, nah, we need another Olympics. Even though you betrayed us, I kind of overlooked that. It kind of doesn't really matter too much. So, yeah, cool. Oh, sorry, I ate a spicy pepper before coming up here. Uh, it's so hot. I'm being transferred in two weeks. <laughs> okay, he just put out that handshake, and like the biggest betrayal to the traitor would be friend zoning her. <laughs> bah! Oh, hi, you popped into existence. Yeah, idle bullshit, you know. Question, dude. Yeah. Did the game's manual... Okay, that's kind of a lost relic, but uh, is there any way saying how old these girls actually are? There is. Uh, I think Anastasia is like 21, 22. Okay. Hatsuho is like 16, 17. Everybody's kind of like 16, 17. Claire's maybe a bit older, like 18, 19. <laughs> Azami's 13, ah. and Ka Kamiyama's 42. <laughs> he's, he's probably like 22 or something. I was just waiting for the big, like, the the big one is the one where you go, okay, time to turn this game off. Yokai. Where, where'd you get that sword from? All right, here's her ending. All right, let me see. Something, something stars. Stars. Ooh. Oh yeah, this game is my nemesis. <laughs> We're being invaded! No! <laughs> One of them lands right in front of them. Oh, no, well, this is a lucky night. Make a wish, Kamiyama. I wish this game never happened. 
Look, a UFO! That one's coming right toward us up! <laughs> <laughs> the meteorite from Earthbound finally lands. Well, this is cute. Aw, I like that. But, but no kiss! What? Bullshit! Aw, oh, come on! All right, now let's move on to a zombie's ending. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. How is that going to go? Uh, great. Uh, Probably just mm. fire a bunch of manju and say, hey, don't tell the cops. <laughs> <laughs> you must be this tall to be deputy captain. Aw! That's why she wears those high sandals. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I wear the peanut outfit, I'm slightly taller. <laughs> I don't know. I think Azami's pretty, uh, pretty capable of being deputy captain. I mean, she's a ninja. She knows the ways of of war and stuff like that. You know. Oh, she'll do great. Uh, right? I right. I really want this scenario to be where you choose Azami and everybody goes, "Excuse me." I can tell you're heartbroken, Sakura. Perfect choice? What are you talking about? Yes, a child, perfect. Yeah, I'm sure she's capable of making, you know, split shot decisions. Oh, yeah, good point. Hatsuho, you're my deputy captain. I didn't choose you at random. Uh, flips through notebook. Uh, Azami, that's your name. You know what I would do? I would, I would just slick my hair back, make the ultimate swag move, and go, Samire, you're my deputy captain. Damn, dude. Secret seventh ending. 45 more minutes later! <laughs> uh, she seems so happy. Yay! My I, I, I fucking hate her outfit. It's so dumb. It is the stupidest outfit I've ever seen on a ninja. Yeah, yeah, I bought it. <laughs> but wait! We won't know what she says through the door! Apparently all I skipped was just transitioning to the room, and that took longer. Wow! Holy shit! How does that work? <laughs> that was a separate cutscene? Jesus! I, I guess. God! So I realized I am not having a zombie's ending with her in that ridiculous outfit, so I uh, changed everybody into whatever outfit I felt uh, most encapsulated their characters. Uh, oh, so nothing! So zombie has the one- the zombie has the one thing that looks decent on her. She looks very ninja-esque. You know the sad part is, that didn't increase her height at all. Nah, she's still got the sandals. The, the, the 12 inch platform sandals. You could plug up a leaking dam with those things. Yes, they are hiding in the ceiling. Ooh, and then we get to the dark timeline after she says, Oh, they're hanging around. And then you just see corpses all over the theater. It's kunai and everybody's jugular. Yep, we're all done here. Azami, I wish you, of all people, were fleshed out more. You had so much potential, and yet... You were left to the token ninja character, and that's it. I mean, you're a ninja! I want to hear more about, like, what it was like when you were a child. D like, how did your parents die? What's it like being a ninja? Do you like being a ninja? What's your favorite ninja trick to do? How did you learn ninjutsu? Like, you're an actual ninja. You make monsters appear and shit. But instead, all you are is just a manju-loving acrobat. Actually, you know something that would kind of help out with this poor writing? A, a time skip. 
Oh yeah, yeah, like five years, you know, Kamiyama has been yeah. assumed MIA for, you know, two, three, five years. Demons rampage across Tokyo, so that way, the Archdemon can come out, we can defeat them, and our friends will be back, and it'll be a much better story! Well, exactly, and you got- If only! You got- If only. A zombie who would all of a sudden be older, wiser, a lot- a lot more ninja tricks? I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Pull the three houses, man! Oh my god! <laughs> I put her in Gemini's hat and Shinkuji's outfit. Wow, did you just jump into your closet this morning and come out with whatever stuck? <laughs> What's kind of cool is that for this one, everybody does a little ninja pose. Oh, cool. I want to see it. Here we go. And scream to the stars. Flower division, move out! And then you better pull a pose too, man. <laughs> yeah! Uh -huh. Wait, they all did the same pose. That's kind of boring. So this is a lot like Rika Rita's ending in Sucker Wars 5. You just go to an amusement park. Cause no way we're gonna Good. have anything go romantic here! No way! She's a child, Good. you freaks! Good. But this is cool. This is fun. This is neat. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the animation budget! <laughs> uh, all that manju. <clears throat> the happiest place on. <laughs> Here, ice cream. <laughs> Behold my peace offering for you ruining the day for me. <laughs> this is wholesome. I like fun this. If I had, it'd be a lot more fun if I had Hatsuho here. And she dies peacefully. <laughs> no. Yeah. Trust me, one trip to the amusement park isn't enough for you to have feelings for me. No. Anyway, on to Stupid's ending. <laughs> oh, sorry, soccer is ending, my bad. <laughs> yeah, do I have to? Yeah, I have to. Fine. Fine. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. Oh, that. God, I hate you. That just. God, I fucking hate you. That got me something good, man. <laughs> 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 oh god now the best part in the ultimate you know kick in the face would be if the ending just didn't change like somehow you still got Hatsuho's ending it would be hilarious you will not believe her ending alright I, I gotta see it yes it's <laughs> got me interested I mean yeah Happy that this is like the last ending I got, you know, the, the, the last of the endings that we missed. So no more of the 45 minute fighting anymore. Right. But I was still yelling at the screen like, really? Come on! <laughs> now, refresh my memory. Who was your first deputy captain when you first played this? Hatsuho. Okay, that's what I thought. Like, duh. Well, I mean, yeah, duh. I just didn't know if you had pulled a wild card on yourself. No, it was hot so. Okay. So, oh, technically all of these were new to you. Yes. Oh, that's so great. No, I'm not sure. I'm only doing this for completion's sake. <laughs> You're a grind spot. <laughs> so, apart from Hatsuho's, what would you think is your second favorite ending? Uh, I liked Clarissa's ending. Me too. So, so it's like some classic romantic stuff going on in there. Yeah. I feel like, again, if it was fleshed out a bit more, you could have really had something there. 
Maybe a zombie as like a as like a distant third if she was aged up a bit more and you know less creepy and well, didn't dress I, like I was, ridiculousness. I was thinking that was just more like wholesomeness. Like, oh, that's cute. It, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Skip the three second cutscene looking at the building. Can you tell my impatience? <laughs> Can you just see it off the screen there? So ah. So, so bright. Just a sec. Locks the door. Reinforces with rebar and two by fours. You look ridiculous. Howdy, y'all! It's just clip. Howdy, y'all! How'd you be my stay? Oh, man, it's clipping through the hat. Oh, no. Boku no Namaiwa Sakura Shinguji Sunrise! <laughs> Yikes. God, I hate you. I hate you. That's nothing but hate for you. It's almost over, man. We'll be fine. I know. I know. And now we gotta get to the whole, Oh, you were perfect all along, Sakura. I really enjoyed having you. You were a doer. See, I was hoping Kamiyama was listening to our commentary and realized that this garbage fire needs to be insulted a lot in order to, you know, break <laughs> even on points. But no, she's perfect. In every way, and don't you forget it. But it's all thanks to you. Sakura, you remind me of a cinnamon roll. Left out in the sun for five days and rained on a bit. Sakura, you remind me of a spinach quiche. I hate spinach quiche. You <laughs> fought hard to turn your dreams into reality. What the fuck are you talking about, you idiot? Shut up, God. <laughs> shut just shut <laughs> up! God, shut your goddamn mouth, you braying jackass! God, if she had like a full breakdown, that'd be hilarious. Everybody comes in and just has a concerned look on their face. Sadro, what did you do? Now throw the hat into the sky like it's graduation. Yeah! Throw her off the stage and make her break her hip. <laughs> you pick her up and go, mosh pit! And then throw her into empty seats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Flower Division, move out. Last time. For the last time. Oh, well that's standard. So this is a transfer notice. <laughs> Sakura is leaving to join the Shanghai Combat Review. What? That's what I wanted all along! <laughs> I wanted that all along! And now, when her ending is when it happens, but because it's her ending, we're not gonna let that happen! Oh my god! <laughs> Here comes Kamiyama in a fucking car to stop it. <laughs> Shanghai Combat Review, those fuckers got one last thing from us. You should have taken her! Just take her away, but because it's her ending, we gotta we gotta say no, that's not what's gonna happen! Now it should have happened anyway! Why does it have to happen now? Drive into the boat! You wanna do Oh my god! Oh. Just run right into her! <laughs> <laughs> I ruined a car and your future for this. I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, Hooray! Was just more than happy enough. Yeah, See, the best thing is, is they didn't realize she jumped, so they still think she's on the boat. Black. Black. Ugh. The promise. <laughs> Ugh. Gabby with a fucking spoon. 
All right. You, All right. You, now let's, you did it. Let's get to the uh, missing bro mines. We are now on new game plus mode. If you look closely, you see those little white squares everywhere? Uh, those are br th those are bro mines. Oh. Well, that's handy. They include they include all the bromides and ones that we missed, but we're just going with the ones that we had missed. Okay. So we'll start by going to the bus stop. This is here in chapter two, pretty early on. Now, is that a uh, new that... game plus exclusive thing? Is showing all the bromides? Yes. Okay. Cool. So we go over here. There's a bromide right beside. Uh. I forgot her fucking name. But anyway, that's fair. That's Erica Fontaine. The walking disaster. Yeah. Dropping melons. Damn it. Those Whoopee. looked good. Uh, I accidentally got this early, but here is Ricaritas. <laughs> yeah. All the bromides from uh, Soccer Wars 5. Oh, oh wow. God, I, man, I miss you. I never thought was I'd that... miss you, Rika, but I really <laughs> miss you. Is this also chapter two? Are you getting yes. this? Okay. Yes. All right, now we're here in chapter three. Oh, over here oh, is hello. pretty easy to miss. I mean, how could I see? There's just so much bloom everywhere. <laughs> the lights. But here's the wind division for the previous games. Yeah. Oh. Would you like to buy a bromide? Sure. Yeah, sure. And now our last one that we missed is from chapter six. Oh, that's so tragic. We barely missed any. And down here. <gasps> the Imperial Combat Reviews Flower Ooh. Division. Yeah. What is up? Look at that all-star crew. Yeah. So that's all the bromides, but it's not all the bromides. What? You're looking here, there's still some uh, some gaps there. I'm missing four. Uh, two. Yeah. Got all those. Three. Yeah, missing missing that one. And that Four. one. So there's still a few we have, yet, we have left to get, but we did get all the special ones. Awesome. Ah, I see some Soccer Wars 5 in there. Yes. I know, I know. So uh, let's talk about the rest of the remaining bromides. Oh, no. They're, they're tied to the battle bots. No, no. Oh, man. And if you remember, you had to get all S ranks on all 45 of the battle bots. I hope you appreciate everything I did. <laughs> all we have left is just chapter seven for Sakura. Holy I've shit. Had to do, I've had to do chapter seven so many goddamn times. So we get a bromide for completing stages 36 to 40, Get an uh, A rank on all those stages, get an S rank on all of Sakura's stages, and we get uh, all the bromides from BattleBots. So, again, getting all S ranks on all of these, we just gotta get an S rank on Sakura's chapter. I've had to do this so many times. Oh my there's god. The six, there, there's the five times I had to do it for the actual endings. <laughs> and then the additional five times, and then four more times on top of that to get the S ranks. So. At four times speed, I had to go through all this again. God damn! So this was like an accidental non-S rank, correct? Or is this what, just... What do you mean? Well, okay, maybe I'm not understanding the battle bot. Is the... These are just the regular missions from the main game, right? Yes. So if you Each... do those in, as an S rank the first time, do you have to come back and do them in the battle bot? No, but okay. uh, when you're getting the endings, uh, if you just uh, again, if you if you finish the ending of a certain girl, mm -hmm. d get the clear data, and then instead of going to New Game Plus, you reload your pre your uh, deputy captain save, get another ending. That'll count towards your battle bot. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so you don't have to restart the entire fucking game and do it all over again. So by the time I started New Game Plus after finishing Sakura's ending, I already got all S ranks for the final chapter. But I still had to do four more bouts of <laughs> Chapter 7 with everybody else. Well, uh, that's not nearly as bad. I, I know Chapter Seven's kind of a long one, but, you know, it's it doesn't seem as bad. Yeah, I still had to do it all way too many goddamn times, though. 
too many oh. goddamn times. I hope you appreciate everything I did. Oh, I always do. Because I don't think I appreciate what I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oops, I just capped myself. Well, okay, I hope you appreciate what I did. I can't walk anymore, but at least Sakura Wars is finished. Uh, and all of this was for the plat. All of this is for the plat. That is astounding. I should mention about uh, one trophy that gave me some problems. Uh, it's a trophy called Dependable Guy. It's for answering 15 incoming messages. And I thought that meant, oh, it just hit triangle on your little your little uh, phone there. But no, it is for the 15 optional ones. When you, whenever you see like a time limit, that's like whenever uh, the game tells you about a new Koi Koi Wars opponent or whenever there's a raid or whenever someone has to tell you something or whatever. Oh. Answer 15 of those and you get the trophy. I didn't get that until the beginning of chapter six or <laughs> on the new game plus round here. Oh, okay. It, take, it takes a while to activate and I was worried that this is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the one that keeps her getting the plat because the game wants to fuck with me even more. And you gotta go through the game one more time. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, it's enough. It'll never end. It'll never end. Uh, You'll be playing new soccer wars from now until the end of eternity. Now I have a deep, deep fear at the pit of my gut that at the end of the year, when Sony does the whole, oh, hey, you know, check, <laughs> check and see how many hours you played on all your PlayStation 4 oh, games. Oh, no, this is gonna be the this top. This one is gonna <laughs> be in the top. And I cannot have that. We I have to find you. A, have that. We have to find you a more fun game to play for hours and hours on end. Now, Resident Evil 8 is coming out, and I think you know th that that came out. I've been playing that a lot, so I think that's going to be good. Uh, Lost Judgment's coming out in September. That's going to oh, be oh yeah, you know, big big two. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm getting Great Ace Attorney Chronicles for a Switch or PS4. So I I think we'll be okay. Just got to find something to, to to devote my time more than this fucking game eight of my life. Oh my god, I can't, I actually can't wait for the end of this year. That's going to be something. I, I'm going to forget about it by the time, you know, December rolls around. And then you're just going to post a tweet saying, I hate everything. <laughs> and it'll just show a giant picture of number one new Soccer Wars as your most played game in 2021. Persona 5 Strikers, that's another one. I've, I've dedicated, like, some 60 hours to that already, so I, I okay. think that's I think that's gonna yeah, that's gonna eke it out, but I just gotta make sure. And there you go! S-S-S-S-S! All ass! Hooray! I hate you! Simulated victory, that's for getting all the battle bot battles. Battle, battling battle. With an S rank. With an- well, that's just doing all of them. Oh, okay. That's the S rank. Hey, there we go! And and show that plat. Come on. That's for Go. getting all the bromides, which then leads to and hey! all right. The evil is defeated. <laughs> the evil is defeated. Yeah! I have won. I all have right. bested this game. And it's not even now worth it. <laughs> Uh, I got that, I got a, let's see, that plain looking Sakura one in her Christmas outfit who gives a shit. That's cute. Uh, that's, that's, that's another see. one. Uh... That, that's one of them. Wow. Really, really worked hard on that one. She looks like she just saw a spider on her dashboard. Okay, uh, I like that one. Oh, ho, ho. I know talent when I see it. I think that's for getting all <laughs> S ranks. Okay. Awesome! Uh, that's that's all of them. You did that's it! That's it. It's done. Yeah! It's over. And after you get the final ending, you get this shot. Goodbye, girls. I will never see you again.